But uh, congratulations on the new album. Thanks. I think it's fantastic, absolutely. Um, I'm finding it very hard to get past track two. I have to, I have to, be, to be honest, that um, your, your, your the, the first single is absolutely stunning. Are you like Furuta? I do indeed. I think it's uh, it has elements uh, in there that uh, I think um, a very very wide audience will appreciate. Oh, I like to hear that. Good, good, good. I have fun making it though. Good, good, good. This but song has been in my head for seven years, so... Really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But now, if, if you have to look at the new album as a whole, um, what are people getting um, that they you know, that they didn't perhaps uh, get from the first three albums? Mm. Better understanding of the magic of the music that can bring us together. Mm, 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 mm. And, um, you know, obviously now with you being based, um, you know, in, in France, um, do, do you find it, I mean, as much as you've got a, you know, there, there is a very strong African feel um, to, uh, you know, to certain areas of France, I mean, South African uh, you know, music as well, and African music as a whole translates very well. Um, in places uh, like Europe and France in particular, but with you being ba being based away from Africa, you know, do you find it challenging to sort of retain, you know, the the, the African identity, um, you know, and the whole, you know, the whole feel? Okay. Yeah, I hear you. Mm -hmm. part of your question and not not a part of it. So. Uh Okay, I'll, Communication is really bad. Okay, I'll, I'll, um, I'll say it again. Um, you know, with, yeah. with you being based in, um, you know, in Europe, um, is, it, mm -hmm. is it challenging to you um, to, to, to write the kind of music you do, um, you know, being away from, you know, from the true roots of, you know, of, of your youth? Oh, it's not challenging for me. It's, it's exciting for me. Mm. To, to be able to see how my roots stand by itself in, mm. among every different music that exists here. Mm. My roots are strong enough for me to be able to go and meet any kind of music that exists in the world. Mm. And I like that. Mm. Mm. I really like that. Mm. 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 Now, um, you were in South Africa last year, were you not? Mm -hmm. Um. Now, I was unfortunately, um, I, I wasn't in the country at the time when, when you were here, but um, your, your live shows are much documented, you know, as being uh, something to see. Now, can you tell us a little bit more about, it, you know, about them that actually makes them so spectacular? I don't know. <laughs> I think the public makes the concert spectacular. Mm. The public forgets his input. Mm. I was so happy to be playing in South Africa and being so pleased people know my song that I was in heaven. Mm. Mm. That was make it so spectacular. Mm. The public have been lifting me up from the moment I start singing till the end. Mm. 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 Because um, you, you've obviously incorporated um, part of that South African experience into the new album as well. Mm. With the, you know, with I like the South African way of singing. Mm, mm, mm. I have been growing up listening to it, so mm, mm. why should I avoid it? Yes, it's part of my, my background. Because mm, mm, mm. I must admit, especially from a South African point of view, the the album is particularly um, easy to get into because um, uh, just the whole structure of it makes makes perfect sense to to me as a South African. I'm happy to hear that. <laughs> now I, mean, I want. Um, I wanted uh, in that project of this album where the project started back home when I, when I decided that no matter what I would do, or being a lawyer or being a singer, I would go and meet the black diaspora outside of Africa. Mm. And uh, I would go everywhere where I could have been brought to to mm. 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 So this one is the first, is the first stop in, mm. a, in the first part of a trilogy I want to do. Mm. And uh, for me, South Africa is, is a part of that. I mean, uh, the voice of South African sounds and singing helped me to get closer. Mm. Because in 
the R and B and the soul music in in uh, in uh, America. You have that. You have the backing. Absolutely. Mm. The only thing that gives me that flavor and strength and originality of it in in Africa was in South Africa. Mm, 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 mm. Because um, I mean, um, obviously, as I said, you know, I mean, uh, with, with the whole African, um, you know, I mean, with with you know, with, with the music being what it is. I mean, a couple of years ago, um, you know, when when there was almost a classification of, of world music, and people like Yosu and Dua and yourself, you know, came out. There was a there was a huge um, sort of surge towards people um, getting into what you're doing. Do you, do you feel that um, that has actually grown? You know, that people are now able to interpret what you do a lot easier than say a couple of years ago because it's gotten bigger? Oh, certainly. It's, it's, it helps for a better understanding, but it's not enough yet mm. because we still have to work on it. Mm. Mm. We still have to work on it. It won't change a century or two centuries of history mm. saying that in Africa there's no music, there's no culture, there's nothing mm. won't be changed in 10 or 20 years. Mm -hmm. It will take time. Sure. It's a good step and it's a good beginning and things are evolving. Mm -hmm. that, 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 that's what I like about the fact that somebody like you, Sundu, and myself, mm -hmm. we do what we like to do, mm -hmm. being happy with it, mm -hmm. and being able to prove to the world that can come from Africa and express ourselves. Yeah, because I mean, I think it's the big thing that, you know, as much as, you know, for years, um, you know, I mean, African musicians have been expressing themselves, but I think, you know, that the world audiences as a whole, I mean, Europe and, and America, um, haven't quite understood, um, you know, what it was all about, but that seems to be changing. Now they are realizing that there's a lot of music they have been listening to mm -hmm. in Europe. Mm. that come from Africa, that have their roots back in Africa. Yes. That's what I like about it. Mm, mm, mm. But because this was possible because of people like Peter Gabriel, mm. for example. True. He was the one that had, that stood the first mm. and, and, and take an African artist and put it on the same level as himself. True, yeah. Most of them have been doing it for for years. Mm. Mm. When Mia Makeba moved from South Africa and was in have been to America and everywhere. Mm. They didn't, I mean, she was successful. Mm. But none of them were courageous enough mm. to stand on the same level as her because she was, she was so talented that once, first of all, they were afraid of having that challenging. Mm. And secondly, politically, they didn't want to be involved. Mm, true. It takes time for some people to stand by from themselves and go, hey, mm. hey let us be serious for a moment. Mm. Let us take what we are and who we are. Let's put the thing back where they should be. Mm, 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 absolutely. Now, um, well, Simon worked a lot with South African artists, mm. but never exposed them as Peter Gabriel did with uh, Yusundu. True. 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 Yeah. 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 Now, especially for you, Angelique, do you um, do you see your music serving a purpose? You know, outside the obvious, you know, musical enjoyment that people get from the album, you know, is is there another side to the music, um, you know, where people can, um, you know, can actually, you know, that it actually serves, you know, a double purpose or, you know, over and above the musical enjoyment? I, I, I want my music to, to reach all the, the people in the world, especially the youth everywhere in the world that's going to be the big part of the 21st century. Mm -hmm. And I want my music too to help for a better conscience mm -hmm. of our problem in Africa mm -hmm. and in the world. To get the people to understand and to see Africa in a different way as they are seeing it today. Mm -hmm. Especially the youth, because they're going to be the one dealing with the next century. Mm -hmm. They're going to be the one traveling all around. Mm -hmm. I want them to have the sense of going behind what they see. Mm -hmm. What they saw on the TV is not, might not be the reality. Exactly. For themselves stand and go and search for the truth and find it somehow. Mm -hmm. And I want my music to help them for that, to be able to do that, to have a sense of analyzing situations and, uh, uh, and events that will be broadcast to them in their own country, to be able to see all of the youth in the world on the same level as, as they, no matter... Not to see colors, mm -hmm. not to see only first people 
compared to the language, only people compared to their color, mm. only simply human beings they have to deal with. Mm. That's what I want. That will be the big step for the next change of the century coming, where we can stand and sit together like brothers and sisters mm. without mm. the complex of color or a complex of superiority or inferiority. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, I hear what you're saying. Now, um, in getting to that uh, point, um, the production and the likes uh, of, say, Brandon Marsalis that you've used on the new album and all the people that you've um, you know, chosen to work with, um, is that, um, you know, how important is that in creating the right mood, you know, and, and the end result that, you know, that we hear on the album? Um important how you feel people. Mm. And people, if you feel them and they feel you good, mm. it is the result you have on the album. Mm. Mm. And beyond the music, we have human being relationships. Mm. We have the conscience of what has to be done for us to come together. Mm. Mm. And that's how everyone expresses on this album. Everyone expresses it on his way. Mm. And I let it be like that. Mm. I bring my music to them. And I I want them. I wanted them to make it their music. Right. And make it their music. They give it back to me where they're feeling. Mm. I'm happy. Mm, 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 mm. Right, 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 right. Now, um, f for you, Angelique, what is the you know what is the most gratifying part you know of of releasing an album like Aremi, you know, um, and of everything that you know that that you do as a you know, as a musician and a performer, you know, if you could single it out, what what is the most gratifying part for you? Having fun while I was doing it <laughs> and meeting wonderful people while I was doing this album. Mm. Wonderful people that give me their time and their talent mm. and just enforce me in my faith of doing what I'm doing. Mm. And um, the most grateful part is going to be with the public, for them to learn the songs, to listen to it, to sing along with it, to live with it, and every time they listen to it, to be happy. Mm -hmm. I want, I want my, 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 all my music, all my work in the past and now, what I, I always wanted to and, and have in my mind while I was doing it, is to be partners with people that will listen to it. Right. For them to feel love, for them to feel a part of the writing, to be, feel a part of the singing, mm -hmm. and to be a part of the spiritual life behind it. Mm -hmm. Because, um, as I say, just looking at the album again as a, as a whole, um, it's definitely an album that isn't intended for any specific audience. It seems to be an album that, that most anyone um, can actually interpret um, quite easily. You know, it's not that it's intended for you know, a select market or a, a, certain, a certain market or a certain country. It seems to be a very, a very open album, an album that's taken so be embraced by, um, you know, anyone really who gives it, uh, gives it, a, gives it a listen. I don't, I don't write songs thinking about different people. I, I write my songs thinking about different people in one. Mm. Mm. So for me, I mean, the feeling behind my CDs and my songs every time is, I want people to feel that I, I'm not there to I'm not there to give any lessons to anyone. I'm here to share my loving. Mm. I'm here to share my generosity with the music. I'm here to, sh to share my care and my concern mm. with everybody. Mm. 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 And, and do you feel that you've achieved that yet, or, or is this just the beginning for you? Uh, it's the beginning of an achievement because people have, I have been receiving different emails and letters from people, and they're all listening for me. I mean, I'm happy. I'm happy when somebody writes me or send me a message and go and tell me your music makes me feel happy today. Mm. And I, 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 every day I listen to your music. I, I, I like it. Or oh, somebody sent me a message two weeks ago telling me because of m liking my music, he, he spent his holidays in Benin and he loved it a lot mm. and could understand me better and see how important I am in my country. Mm. Mm. And uh, people sending me letters telling me. I was nearly suicidal when I discovered your music, and your music gave me the strength and mm. the happiness mm. and love that I need for myself to stand and go out and 
search for a job and not letting myself go. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's what I want my music to be doing. Mm, absolutely, absolutely. I think that's fantastic. Yeah, absolutely. Um, but now, you're going to be touring the new album. Does that mean that you um, that, that we might just see you back here in South Africa? Oh, uh, probably. Well, I don't know. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll keep everyone on tender hooks until that happens. Uh, okay. <clears throat> but thank you very much, Angelique. I appreciate your time and say congratulations on a fantastic album. Mm. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye now. Bye.